Hello, Aries, and welcome to your October 2016 reading by Josie K. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I have dealt the cards after I cleared them, prayed over them, and I have blessed them with my stones. Um, it's kind of an average reading for Aries, um, but in the end, there is a great outlook of both love and money. So that's your overall window for October 2016. I started with the Gilded Tarot with you, Aries, male or female, sun, moon, or rising, being crossed by the Six of Wands card. This means you'll be getting some sort of recognition, acknowledgement, or notoriety. On your mind, you will feel like the star. The center of what's going on, shining brightly, feeling acknowledged. In the recent past, you may have started a new path, maybe a new job. And at your foundation, you're feeling very solid and in control of your finances. Or this could represent a boss who is of an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or if you want to look at this as a love reading, you could be dating or married to a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And they are making you feel very good. Good things are happening within the relationship. Love is being offered. I also see this in, as mostly a money reading, actually. And this means somebody is coming in to offer some money. There again, you are feeling like the King of Pentacles sitting there on his throne, enjoying all that he has created. Could also be in love, again with uh, thinking about an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. All right, um, someone around you is wanting to offer you love or good things. And you're hoping that you have the strength to maintain, be it in a relationship or work, because you are doing a good job. You are hoping that nobody is doing anything behind your back or working against you in any way, relationship or job. And in your outcome reading, you have the Knight of Wands. Somebody in coming in offering you work. Things are happening very quickly. And a decision has to be made with regards to your path. Now, I drew one more card to kind of Confirm whether that was an, a work path or a love path. And I guess with this being wands, it could be a decision at work coming quickly because of an offer at work. This could also mean there could be a decision up and coming with regards to love for those of you who are still single. All right, so over here I continued the Gilded Tarot by doing a three-card reading. And I got an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, male or female, Sun, Moon, or Rising, who maybe was in your past kind of either almost in your way, okay, in a relationship. I want to say that they were in your way in a relationship or in a work business relationship, and now you're starting to see that you have overcome that situation and are now able to Create that which you want in that situation. You have control and you now feel like you can create your future. All right. With the Gateway to the Divine Tarot three card reading, I got a brand new path in money. And to remember to give and take. As you will be moving forward. This is right underneath what you have created and you will be moving forward on a brand new path. You're not quite sure which path it's going to be, which makes sense over here. There's a decision to make either way. When it's on the job, you will grab that opportunity and you will be like 
the King of Wands and make sure you have everything under control, structured, organized, etc., etc., like a hardworking Aries would. You will be moving forward again with the Knight of Cups. Someone making you an offer. Could be lover money, but right below that I want to say money because you receive the Three of Wands, which is looking out on a path you're just beginning to recognize and you're wanting to take steps forward to start along that brand new path. Yes, there are decisions to make. Maybe you're the decision maker on a path that's moving quickly with regards to a job. Things are going to turn out wonderfully, not only with love in your life, but also Ace of Cup uh, Pentacles. That's two aces, love and money. And you will go quickly towards making that decision that's asking you to move quickly. You have the judgment card on your side, so you will make a good choice, which will then again bring you to the Ace of Pentacles. So you are moving towards a very good path. Right now, the romance cards say that there may be children that are uh, affecting your love life somewhat. But once you get beyond the expenses and the situations maybe that are stressful with regards to kids, sometimes you will maybe receive an engagement. Now, I closed your reading with three angel cards from the uh, Dorian Virtue angel card deck. And the first card you received representing now in the recent past or the recent past and now is the night of water falling in love or wedding proposals that's engagement wedding proposals the need to balance your emotions or an invitation to a social event okay so great things are happening if somebody asks you to go on a date things are heading in the right direction yes there will be Questions, concerns, but once things start moving, they'll be moving quickly and you will be able to make a choice with regards to a brand new path in love. Okay, same with work. Work uh, proposals. Need to keep balanced in your situation. Give and take. Moving towards something new. Being able to create that which you want. Staying organized like the King of Wands. Moving forward, making choices, having judgment on your side, leading you to two Ace of Pentacles, which are brand new paths in money. So somebody is going to probably invite you to a social event. Either way, there's a need to balance your emotions and stay in control at the office. Okay. Second card, Ten of Fire, too much work, except help from others, life is out of balance, health-related re concerns. That may be why in your near future you uh, may become a little concerned about whether or not you're strong enough to handle the situation. Nobody is going to walk out or hurt you behind your back because you are going to be charging in like the Knight of Wands at a quick pat pace to show which decisions need to be made and therefore, you will receive these two pentacles, ace of pentacles, with regards to brand new paths and money. All right, and the final card is three of fire. Like we said before, with the three of wands, looking out on that brand new path, wanting to take the step because you already know which direction you're moving. Abundance, it says. Things look very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. So you're going to hear about an opportunity in love or money. I'm leaning towards money with this reading. It's going to happen very quickly. And you're going to be able to make a lot of big choices that are going to lead to more money. So good job, uh, Aries. And if it's with regards to love, love is being offered. Things are coming. There's opportunities for engagement and wedding proposals. Final card I forgot about was from messages from your Angels Dorian Virtue Oracle card deck was, was Angel Omega, which says, Victory! Victory! Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. Need I say more, Aries? I hope you enjoy a wonderful October and that you'll be back again soon for another reading by Josie K. Thank you, take care, and God bless.